I recently got a request from Alex to talk about the blunderbuss, and as one of the more interesting shotguns, it's my personal favourite. It only has a magazine capacity of one, so you have to reload after each shot. This makes it the most polarising shotgun by far, as to make up for its low fire rate, the potential damage per shot can reach up to 208. Each shot fires 8 pellets, that each do 26 damage. Like all shotguns, the pellets will do the full 26 damage regardless of where the player is hit. Therefore, you only need 4 pellets to connect to deal over 100 damage in a single shot. Due to its random spread, its effective range is only about 0 to 10 meters. Beyond that, it becomes almost impossible to land more than a few pellets at a time. Therefore, in order to use the blunderbuss effectively, you need to be able to close the gap between yourself and whatever you are shooting at. There are a number of different ways you can do this. Here, I was able to use the ballistic shield to protect myself before I got within effective range. Nice job, nice job. If you start a fight with a long range weapon, you can push while they retreat to heal in order to close the gap. But most of the time, you will simply be able to sneak up to an unsuspecting player. But this works best in an environment with lots of cover, like a monument. The risky nature of using a weapon, like the blunderbuss, allows for a higher potential for reward. While it won't be as consistent as something like the Mossberg, it is able to achieve much higher octane moments, especially in clutch situations. Oh shit, he threw a grenade! Shit, I'm dead. Nice job. I didn't see anyone else.